It feels like I got something in my eye, but I'm, I don't know what. And I have a little friend here. <laughs> she looks so sad. No, she doesn't want to be with me. Okay, so hello! Today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the tag video. And this tag is the Makeup Romance tag. And this is created by Lauren De La Ferra. So sorry if I mispronounced that, but I saw it at Paulina's channel, but also Katie Marie has done it, so I will leave them all down in the description. And the creator is Lauren, but Katie Marie did like the pal eyeshadow palette edition, and that was the one that Paulina did, and I was like, I also wanted to talk about only eyeshadows. So this is 10 questions about makeup romance. So we are just going to start and I really hope that this will be good. So first question, the one you are in a committed relationship with. And a lot of these questions were, was very hard to answer. But the one I think I have a committed relationship is soft glam. Do I? Should I twist you? Is soft glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes. My absolute favorite neutral palette. And maybe this feels a little bit boring for you because I mostly do colorful looks, but this palette is so good. It is one of my absolute favorite palettes from Anastasia. The formula is so great and every time I do something with this, it turns out great. So me and Soft Glam is in a commit committed relationship. And I for somehow love the outside of this, even though it's a little bit dirty, but like the color of this love it and then to one of the hardest question and that is read the one you're still in the honeymoon honeymoon phase with and i took lethal cosmetics so this is not like a palette palette because i've chosen my own colors but it looks like this i love the shadows and i love the shadows i picked of course because i picked them up for myself I really love these and I just like love to look at it so me and lethal are definitely in a honeymoon phase I just don't know what to do with this because it feels strange to do a palette bingo with single shadows that you choose but I want to play with this all the time question number three is the one your friends friend zoned what is up with me and this was hard but i think i have to say the magic palette by uvis and i hate this big palette it's so big this one was one of the first palettes i bought from uvis and i remember when i like opened the package and opened this and i was like this is amazing it still is really really good but it's not like I do not feel inspired by this like I do with some of my UVS and it's like it's not a lot of I don't think it's a good mixture between matte and shimmer like I want something more matte and colorful but no I like the colors but I don't like I want more in this palette it's do you see this um so yeah i friend zone this so i still like it but it's nothing more than friendship question number four is the one that got away and i always feel that this is such a hard question to answer but i think i have to say urban decay electro electric electric palette that is like the only palette that i can think of that i wanted and i almost had it i have put it in my shopping cart when i got to the checkout it was sold out and that is just like the only palette that I can think of that I have missed and that I have been like fudge now though I <laughs> don't care that I missed it it doesn't feel like people think it's that good so yeah I think it people liked it because it was Urban Decay and it was colorful and when it came it was pretty special but it was a lot of years ago so yeah, I feel that that is the only palette that got away, but I don't miss it now. But that's like the only one that I can think of that feels 
or have felt a little bit annoying to me that I missed out but now no question number five the one you're currently crushing on and I have to say Kaleidos VR Neon this palette this is like perfection I love this so much I love all the colors I love the color story I love the palette it looks so good I love the formula of, of Kaleidos shadows so this one I am crushing on and this I'm going to be crushing on for a pretty long time I think because it's so 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 good I can leave my first impression up in the corner if you want to see it so question number six the one that broke your heart and it is dragon child by menagerie this palette isn't existing anymore you can buy all the shadows but like this palette is not existing anymore this broke my heart if you have seen my free looks one palette with this i did review and this is like the first palette that i have given a negative review on and this really broke my heart because i have been looking so much forward to play with this palette and i was so happy when i got it and I feel the color story is really unique and when I didn't love it as much as I thought I was going to, it, I was sad. It broke my heart. So yeah, the Dragon Child by Minority Cosmetics. Question number seven, the one you grew apart from and that is Makeup Geek and many MUAs. This one, <laughs> I remember my excitement when I bought this and I have loved this. I almost, this is a very big dip in and I've used this a lot and this a lot. I really loved it and I, like my first impression when I did that, I was like blown away and was like this is my favorite palette ever. Now I haven't used it for quite a long time. I really like it and I really like the colors but it doesn't feel, not fulfilling my needs right now this is not me anymore this is me sometimes but not that often so i think we grew apart i still want it though because i can't get rid of it okay and question number seven the one you had a fling with but never actually dated and i don't know why i haven't used this more it's the makeup addiction cosmetics flaming love this was also like my first impression was so good it looks like this. I like it. And like this color is amazing. But we never came any further. Because I really don't know what to do. Because it feels like a strange mixture. Mix, mixture. It's strange mix between colorful and neutral. Because the neutral are the mattes and the colorful are the shimmers. But these are really really good and it is good neutrals as well good matte colors but it's just like we never hate it off it was a fling question number nine the one you are in a hate love relationship with and this was so hard i picked one that is mostly because of the packaging of the palette and it is the munasa palette from blush tribe it looks like this on the inside. This is so annoying. This shimmery inside. It's like I can't see past it. So I can't see the colors. But these are some amazing colors. This is a really good formula on these. Blush type can be some of the palettes are amazing. Some of them are not amazing. This is one of their amazing palettes. But it is like the background. I can't see the colors because of this background and that annoys the crap out of me. I want to use it but it's like I'm looking at it and it's just too much. I think it would be enough it, if it was only here but it takes away so much from the colors so love the colors but hate the packaging. And the last question, question number 10, the one you gave another chance. A second chance why is it so hard and that is actually dragon child i did i think it was a good red with me when i was like 
I am going to love this palette. And he has, has, the, has that studio light being like this all the way. So, okay. The Dragon Child. I did get ready with me and I was like, I'm going to love this palette. And I used a different technique than I usually do. And now I love it. It's not my favorite. But I really, really, really like it. You have already seen it. So I'm so happy that I gave it another chance and that I was like I'm not going to give you up because I know that a lot of my friends love this. So I was like I can and I will make it work. So I'm so happy that I didn't give up on this. So and that was all for this tag video. I think it was so fun to do and I always love to talk about palettes. So I will leave all the people that I mentioned and also all the questions down in the description if you want to do this your own. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!